There was a major meeting in Ramallah on Sunday involving leaders from various Palestinian factions. The invitations are now going out. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas is convening the Palestinian Central Council, and invitations reportedly have gone out to all factions, including Hamas and Islamic Jihad, which are not members of that umbrella PLO organization. A Central Council executive member told the Jerusalem Post that the goal of this upcoming meeting, quote, is to set the strategy for the coming period in the wake of Trump's decision to call Jerusalem Israel's capital. It has been three years since that Central Council last met. Joining me also in studio is our Middle East correspondent, Michael Pluchak. Michael, the last time that the Central Council met was back in March 2015. Back then, they made a very big decision, groundbreaking decision, to end security cooperation with Israel. That was a big thing. Could we expect... Never happened. But they, but they announced the decision. Could we expect some kind of groundbreaking or historic event out of this, or is it really just to kind of... Think heads. We really, when we're dealing with Palestinian politics, when we're dealing with Middle East politics in general, there's a real, real need to separate between what's being said and what's being meant. And between those two, what will actually take place? There's a vast difference between the three. So whether some Palestinian leaders will come out with some very far-reaching statements as possible, I mean, that happens all the time. Whether they will actually break off security coordination with Israel, I doubt it very much. The proof is that in 2015, Mustafa Baraguti, the head of the third largest party, in the Palestinian politics said exactly that, and it never happened. So, look, what they're doing there now is they're trying to really formulate, they're first of all trying to show the Palestinian people that something is being done. That's first and foremost. The Palestinian people want to see that things are moving. Trump did this, what are you going to do now in response? So this is some sort of, uh, you know, a photo op, if you will, right? We're getting together to discuss the issues. Once that's done, I mean, essentially they're going to talk about this move. Abbas, for a few years now, has been on a, a gradual move towards the international community, shifting away from the U.S., and he's shifting gears up in that direction now, following Trump's recognition of uh, Jerusalem. So that's going to be about that as well. There's a number of things they can discuss. They're going to discuss dissolving the PA reportedly. Again, I doubt very much that that's going to happen. You know, breaking off ties, security ties with Israel is another issue on the agenda. All right, dozens of, of, of Palestinian politicians, leaders will be there, uh, reportedly up to eight. The invitations went out. We'll stay on top of it and know you'll be reporting on this in the days ahead. Thank you, Michael Pluchak, for that analysis.